Okay, this ought to be it. Uh, it's time. It's time to move on to the next generation. Next generation of air combat. It's been a long journey so far. Ace Combat's 1, 2, and 3 on the PlayStation. Each kind of different games, kind of wildly different thematic takes. And then to Ace Combat 4, 5, and 0 on the PS2. Ace Combat 4 was kind of, I feel like it was just kind of an establishing tech sort of game, so I wonder if that would apply to Ace Combat 6. I would expect that to not, though, because everything about this, this generation of video games, it was so ostentatious. Everything was showing off everything they could do. Like non-stop, crazy big old, big old cinematic scores, cutscenes out the ass, uh, actors, performance capture, just like everything about Gen 7 was so ostentatious in terms of presentation. But this is a Japanese game. And uh, Japanese games are kind of immune from, from trends in Western gaming. They have their own trends, I think. <clears throat> so what was trendy in the aughts, in the mid-aughts, in 2006? Or is it 7? I think it's 7. 2007. I'm curious what the soundtrack's going to sound like. I feel like drum and bass was still pretty big. Alright, well, we'll see. We'll see. But I'm going to expect hot tech and uh, flashy cutscenes. Maybe not a whole lot of, like, complicated gameplay elements. It might actually be a bit simpler. I don't know if there's going to be some wingman stuff. I'm just speculating right now. But simplification of gameplay was a huge thing in Gen 7 too. Make them big and flashy and stupid. The next generation of aces. Yeah! Look at this HD widescreen display we got. Can't tell if it's extremely quiet. I think it's extremely quiet. Or that might just be the menu. I walk on. I am oh. unable to think. Alright, never mind. It was just super quiet. <gasps> I am empty. Yuzia's shores attacked. They took out King's Bridge! Air Defense Command has ordered an evacuation. You've been ordered to give up Grace Maria. You've got to be nuts! Listen, the plan is to withdraw, meet up with all remaining forces from each area. All stricken team members assemble for takeoff. I played the demo for this. Because I remember thinking how ridiculous Grace Maria was for a... If only I knew. You have to leave now. If only I had any idea. From here as you can. They're coming from the sky. The soundtrack is so traditional. It's probably gonna flip out in a little bit. This is sort of the, the sort of music you heard in like PS2 games. They were just really excited they could use orchestras now. P PS3 era. Usually a bit different. I'm waiting for the dubstep breakdown. That's cool. Does this one just play it, like, pretty straight? Hmm. Maybe, maybe there is a certain lack of, uh, of a, uh, aggressiveness because it's a new generation, it's a new, uh, a new engine, maybe? I wonder if it, it's, like, got that Ace Combat 4 sort of dash to it? We'll see, we'll see, we'll see what's going on here. Oh yeah, can I buy DLC? Load me up! Wait, hold on. Let me see. Okay, so I have played this. Okay, I've played Ace Combat 6. <laughs> Jesus. I've definitely played this. Uh, I played it in 2008. Uh, well, I played it... Okay, so I played it on Christmas in 2007. And then waited a year and then played through it, I guess. I must have been like Thanksgiving break or something. Yeah, absolutely. 
So here, what was I doing in 2008? I think I was a... I think by then I was working contract. For, uh, for another developer. Okay, so I've done this before. <laughs> I finished it. I'll play it again. Because I don't remember a whole lot of it. I do remember Grace Maria. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe it's just because this one's a, a little bit... I don't want to say bland. But it's not as, it's not as freewheeling as... Uh, it's the other Ace Combats. The ones that I've played. Get to relive it again for the first time. Yeah? Maybe I can get some new achievements, you know? Get all medals, maybe? No, no way. Attain complete Esto... Estovakian assault record? I don't know what that means. I never purchased... Attain purchasing ability for original aircraft. Guess I didn't do that. Frontline landings? Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of multiplayer stuff. I think that's the other thing, is I remember getting the impression... <laughs> oh! Oh! I remember getting the impression that, uh... This game had a huge push for multiplayer. Which I found... Undesirable. Oh! I can't keep scrolling. I can't keep scrolling, but I want to. What the fuck? I'm gonna play Dragon Age Origins on a 360. <laughs> yeah, near. How far did I get near? 2017. Oh, because I streamed it. Yeah, I remember now. Sweet. Better believe I closed out Res HD. All right, whatever. We're done. Okay. All right, fine. I'm gonna buy stuff. Ooh. Ooh. All right, no DLC for me. Did you ever end up fish finishing near Butt Automata? I did. Butomata. There we go. Well, I guess I don't have my save from before. That's on my hard drive. So, all right. Set the stage. Here we go. Got everything? Yeah, I'm okay. What is your most recent? Recent achievement in this game dated to 2008, I believe. <laughs> See you later, Mom. When uh, I played through it in one day. Listen to your teacher, okay? And uh, give the king my best. Sounds like a malfunctioning robot. An angel, Mom. Yeah. Maybe we'll tango today instead of waltz. This is kind of coming back to me. That's our way of saying goodbye. My husband is an Air Force pilot and refers to fighter planes as angels. When he'd go on a mission that kept him away from home, I'd tell him in frustration to go dance with his angels. Matilda grew up hearing this and now she uses it all the time. There's a nice view of the King's Bridge from our house. <laughs> Moving on. The giant is the pride of Grace Maria, our capital city. In the old quarter of the city beyond the bridge, you can make out an ancient castle, which is even more famous than the bridge. I'm talking about the castle now. My daughter Matilda is going there on a field trip today. All connected. Should have given it time. In the throne room rests the Golden King. 
He's been smiling for a good 600 years now. The king was a gentle person who was a bit on the small side. But he crafted a giant suit of armor that convinced his enemies to surrender without a single fight. Afterwards, they found such warmth in his smile that they bowed down to him in humility. Anyway, that's how the story goes. I remember kind of also feeling at the time that this game was part of a wave of games that tried to be more Western. The very face my daughter and the others got on a bus to It was a weird thing to see after so many really amazing Japanese games on the PlayStation 2. Song on the radio. They were totally fine being Japanese as hell. Match for the sunny weather. Suddenly the West became such a hot market and it felt like Japanese games either really struggled to even produce games in the HD era, or they tried to kind of make themselves more broadly no idea what's happening. palatable? That awful sound. But this certainly has like PS2 quality cutscenes and voice acting. Was that and stuff. a blast of wind from an explosion? You could see your teeth. The castle disappeared. This is HD gaming. Flame. Individual teeth. All right. So yeah, I can I can I can imagine now how in 2007 that would not be the coolest kickoff to a game. Also, like the intro trailer is not really as hype. Pilots. The music doesn't really hit as hard as it used to. By unknown aircraft. It's just really by the numbers. The instrumentation is really basic. Scramble and intercept all threats immediately. Yeah, and it's just I guess it's just gonna be a series of briefings. Man, okay. We're just going back to Ace Combat 4 then. I can't buy anything. I just want to see what the menus look like. Okay, kind of looks like zero, but it's HD now. So this is like a really cool visualization of how relying on at least 720p means you can really change your layouts. Uh, I guess this is basically the same thing, but you can just fit so many more boxes and menu items and information on the screen. I feel like the audio... The audio balance is less compressed, which is not what I want. Huh, that's interesting. Damn, I was hoping it'd be some like volume leveling. That seemed to have helped a little bit actually. Fighting Falcon. I have 40 XMA4s, 99 missiles. Please. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, that frame rate, though. Oof. This is the thing. How'd the frame rate get worse? It should only get better. Garuda team, time to take off. Subtitles? In this game, guns are OP and missile homing leaps much to be desired. Okay. I wouldn't mind a guns based ace combat. It is fun shooting things down. I guess that makes sense why they'd load you up with missiles if they're just not super effective. I also think the intro movie might be louder than the game. Still trying to balance the audio. Take off when ready. All aircraft under airborne command's jurisdiction following takeoff. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. Yeah, the the plane models look really good, and obviously that sequence was meant to like kind of masturbate about that, which you know it's earned. HD. 
going to show off your new high-res models. Okay. Yeah, that's good stuff. Look at all these planes! Follow your individual instructions. Satellite imagery on the on the ground? Oh, that looks good. Like the ability to swing the camera around and have all that landscape be showing. Yeah, they're getting a lot of a lot of mileage out of the draw distance. You know, I wonder. I might have played this game because I finally got like a, a good HD TV. Oh. Oh god, that frame rate. Woof. One talisman and Garuda two look at this look at this mini map now though it's so crisp in HD our nation is under attack by unknown forces do whatever you can to fend off the invasion Garuda two Roger that Garuda one you call the shots okay this is Commander Windhunter of the 15th Squadron the oh, wow. is expanding its field of attack stay alert Garuda one there's too many of them. That's pretty dope. I mean, it looks good, but yeah, jeez. Frame rate is painful. Might as well probably get used to it. It does look nice. Wow, does it look good. You can see all that debris flickering. And since it's widescreen, you get like a much better view of the cockpit. It kind of it, the cockpit proje yeah, projection takes up way less of the screen. I know this song. I've heard that before, I think. Maybe I just remember it from playing this game before. It's a, it's a nice theme. There's a little picture picture. <laughs> oh, that's great. I'll take care of this one. Is he getting even closer to Gundam? Watch out! The enemy has a lock on you! Those bastards think they can march into someone's house without even calling first. Unbelievable! I say we teach him a few manners before we kick him out. Hell yes. Bro, I, I am all about the little portraits popping up. People talking. And again, that's one of those things where now that it's widescreen, you have a little more screen real estate to play with. You don't have to cover up, like, most of the screen to do stuff like that. The Estovakian threat level has been reduced. You should be able to hold out against them. Oh, yeah? Well, if you think so. Why am I... Wait, hold on. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, this like... Oh, okay, they swapped. Okay, that's Yaw now. Alright. Watch your necks out there. Stick with close range targets and run them down. Foresight's gone. I mean, that was that was nice. Bandit on your tails! Shake him off! Oh wow! Oh wow! Yeah. Oof! How about that? How about those hit boxes? So there's just tons more fodder, huh? Box three. This really is just Dynasty Warriors in the sky. I guess it makes sense. You know, you can dial up the number of enemies on screen, so you also give people weapons to kill more enemies. And thus the bombast of, uh, of Next Generation is achieved. Enemy plane in gun range. Whew. 
looks night and day from the last game. You can actually see the ground and water. Yeah, and nothing's a muddy mess. Yeah, it really is just like just the crispness. So here's the here's the thing though. Think about this. Going from Ace Combat 3 to this. Ace Combat 3 Electrosphere. 2000. To Ace Combat 6, 2007. In seven years. Seven years. One console generation. Like, I, it's the end of one and the beginning of another, but still, it's just like, it's... It's relentless the pace that technology improved across the like the 90s to like the late aughts. Will 8K make that much of a difference? Not really, no. It's diminishing returns. Um, it'll enable some things. I think from, from here it's like delivery platforms evolving, cloud gaming becoming like more commonplace. Uh, and then from there, it's essentially like there's no technical limit anymore. If you can, if you can have server farms sending out a video, video signal, like it's just it's whatever you can do real time uh, with current processing overhead. But you don't have to sell people boxes anymore, and you can pretty much do whatever you want uh, creatively. So that's that's kind of the ultimate elimination of a tech hurdle. And then it's it's taking that experience with you wherever there's a screen in whatever format you want. That's kind of the the next boundary is just ga games having no technical limit anymore and then also being available at all times in <laughs> every possible way. But yeah, I don't know about like just the visuals getting like as revolutionized. Jeez. kind of peaked when it comes to graphics. I can't see getting much better. So the, the the way it can stand to get a lot better, resolution is important. Resolution is mostly important for VR because the lenses are so close to your eyes. So like for VR, resolution can still get a lot better, but the way light is rendered, is kind of the big deal with ray tracing. Nice kill. Uh, the way that light bounces around areas is still, still pretty video gamey. And even the ray tracing that we can do in real time now itself is still pretty like it's it's like patchwork. It has its own look. It's closer, but it's still not real. But like, think about think about like the backdrops in uh in like the Mandalorian or whatever. I don't think that's necessarily real time, but it could be, and that's what games could look like. So I think like, I think within our lifetimes, we'll probably be able to get like stereoscopic 3D photoreal graphics. There might be telltale signs that if you know what to look for, you'll be able to see. But you could probably plop somebody like, oh, the category's still in art. Oh my gosh. Thank you for, uh, thank you for letting me know. Is this the fire of liberation that's happening? Engage the enemy at will following new receive back. Finish them off. Is Russia invading? What's this? Again? Missiles. Oh! Ooh! Cool. Oh. Sparkles. Number three, your radio's down. Number three, where are you? Somebody will close this list. All these particle effects. Off the radar. It's HD, the baby. Where are they coming from? Enemy cruise missile incoming. Those are no ordinary cruise missiles. A fake like hell if you want to help us alive. Pretty cool. See all the windows and stuff? Damn it. What about our city? What about Grace Maria? What the hell was that? Damn. What about Grace Maria? Hey, I'm on your side. Is it your IFM working? This is the best. Warning. Additional enemy planes have been spotted on radar. You don't want to know how many. <laughs>
does the picture in picture just straight up show the the enemy you're targeting? Like it. To all planes. Air Man, I would I would much rather have the frames if that costs anything. Break away from this airspace and head west. Are you out of your mind? We can't comply with that order. We are militarily at a huge disadvantage. Comply with the order and head west. This is Avalanche. We're not going anywhere. Listen! It's only temporary. The plan is to withdraw, meet up with all remaining forces from each area, then regroup for a counterattack. We can't afford to lose you. Follow the order. This is Garuda 2 to Garuda 1. We really should This is interesting that they're, like, dropping, uh, super weapons right off the bat. There's not even any warm-up. There's just that little girl trying to look at the Golden King. I can't figure these guys out. What is it? Oska? Uska? Crap. I can't remember what the Russia is. Garuda team, break away from this airspace and head west. Then again, maybe I can't trust that it was a stereotypical Russian accent. We're in the world of strange real. Will this be in VODs? Yes. Estovakia. All right, thank you. Are you gonna look up the VOD later and remember? Remember when I said that? That'd be cool. Garuda team, you've made it out of the combat zone. Head for the rendezvous point. I promise we'll be back for you. Just a little longer. I'm trying to get the Pringles out the bottom of my can. Goddamn sour cream and onion. So delicious. Garuda 1, Talisman, and Garuda 2, Shamrock. Let's pull that camera out a little bit. A state of emergency. Our nation is under attack by... Look at these gross button icons, though. Look at how gross that is. Got that crappy, like, shine, light shine on part of it. I think the flat icon would look way better than that. But, whatever. That's just me. This is Commander Windhover of the 15th Squadron. Our military has escaped destruction because of your valiant efforts on the battlefield. But our capital grace has been temporarily occupied by Estovakian forces. And our central government has been usurped by them as well. I can't keep getting away with this. Estovakia had declared war with our country as it simultaneously launched a surprise attack on Grace Maria. In response, the Republic of Emeria's political council unanimously adopted Grace a resolution Maria. against the Federal Republic of Estovac. Grace Maria. Our forces Maria. on the Emerian mainland are still fighting in desperation to protect our country. Once our intelligence has been sorted and confirmed, the Republic of Emeria's armed forces must immediately regroup. I remember thinking that Emeria was supposed to be America because it sounds like America. The beautiful country of Emeria belongs to us. And only us. But Osea is supposed to be the U.S. Is Amaria? Who's Amaria supposed to be? Fire and smoke rises from the city before me. Amaria is closer to Italy. She's gone. Hmm. EU. Oh, no. I was thinking maybe Britain. Blonde hair, blue eyed. Like Western, Western castles, a, a museum. Terror that sounds much like my own voice from afar. Yeah, okay, the videos crank it. Jeez. The Golden King's gentle smile is moving, moving farther away from me. Every now and then, I tell my daughter the story of the night some years ago. A night when the sky was radiant with shooting stars. Ha! <laughs> okay. That night, I like it. Your father and I... You're, won you're winning a couple of points back. This really does feel like Ace Combat 4, though. They're even doing the, like, cutscenes with stills. Came into Earth's orbit instead of... And disintegrated into millions instead of FMV like we deserve. Which poured down on the land below. As we watched the shooting stars that night... 
Fragments from the asteroid rained down on our eastern neighbor, Estovakia, damaging a great deal of their infrastructure and devastating their economy. Soon after, the news reported that their nation had fallen into a civil war, one that would last for years. Eventually, the internal strife was brought to an end when the generals came into power. I forgot the folds in the flag. In the came from Amazon. Hardship, the citizens of Estovakia were convinced that the only way they could recover as a nation was to rely on a military government led by these generals. Before long, they went so far as to invade our nation, the Republic of Ameria. <gasps> Our military was forced to retreat to Kessid, an island far to the west. Didn't you even start on an island in Ace 4? A fighter pilot also hasn't... I mean, it was like a base. It was like one base on an island, so it's not quite the same. But you're not like war refugees. Huh. Yeah, getting, getting Ace Combat 4 energy. So... So far, I am unable to think. This is not bad. Do is follow the others. Interesting chaser to Ace Combat Zero, which was a whole lot more Ever layered. Since we came to the twisted remains of my daughter's school bus. My soul has left me. I am empty. Super Nintendo Chalmers. Some Thanks for the sub. Tanks are parked at Thanks the for lightening the mood a little bit. Bridge. There's a train still running on the other side of the river. She goes all the way out to the edge of the border. We've got to blast this bridge before the enemy gets a hold of it. So move it or lose it, people. They actually killed the daughter off? Here I see the wreckage of Maybe she'll come back as an ace pilot later. Like a on what's left of the nose, I eye can patch make over out one eye. Writing. A skull on it. Melissa. It's my name. What a cruel twist of fate for me to see this. My pilot husband. Oh who shit! Had for work that day, with the same loving look on his face as always. His legal name is Pilot Husband. He had painted my name on his angel. Ha <laughs> Rough day. I go into the crowd on the train and endure two weeks of pure hell. Yeah, that sounds rough. Finally ending up at a refugee camp at the border. Stale burritos every day. Room temperature microwave coffee. I don't know any of the names on the list. My compatriots who have now become refugees, gather around a single radio to listen to the broadcast. Even though the station is broadcasting out of Grace Maria, occupying forces have taken complete control of the airwaves. The enemy must have completely overtaken our capital, Grace Maria. Oh, this is, well, this looks like it's an engine. That's pretty cool. The castle and the significant section of the old quarter have escaped relatively unscathed. However, Thank God. the announcer went on to say that a bit of a tech flex. Could have all just been pre-rendered. I thought it was going to be. Once were elaborately displayed in our castle. Stripped bare. As the Estovakian military, it is our sworn duty to govern this crumbling nation and get it back on its feet. Starting right here in Great Maria, I found a group of street children in front of the central station here, where the area has literally been reduced to a slum. Step on up here, little girl. What do you have to say about all this? Go dance with the angels, mister. My ears were not deceiving me. That voice belonged to my daughter. One thing. The only thing about her character. <laughs> oh, I love it. Towards Revival. 
Listen up. Today we're towards reviving. Trust you've all read your manuals. Your flight and combat training is about to start. Oh, that's a great Do voice. What you're told to clear each section. Oh yeah, I will. It's capabilities of other craft. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's really familiar, right? I know that voice. Ah, okay. They're, they're like, support, they're buff you. They buff your missiles. Vic, thank you for the sub. I'm gonna do the co-op missions. I don't know how I could. Probably not. through UAC announcer. Yeah, it's, it's close to that. Got that Vega resonance. Lock on. Enemy down. Oh, that actually caught him? Oh, you played with your, uh, you played the co-op missions a few months ago with your friend? That's kind of cool that it worked across console generations. One, Fox two. What, uh, Enemy how are they? Confirmed. They good? Music's at a good level. Oh, I want it louder. The music is kind of timid in this game. It's definitely not as, uh, as freewheeling. Whatever that means. Garuda 1, Fox 2. Enemy kill confirmed. You've cleared all the training sequences. Looks like you're ready for the front lines. Damn, that's a nice voice. It's like a cool glass of water. Teaching how to land? Your flight and combat training is about to start. Do what you're told to clear each section. Oh yeah, you don't have to like transition zones. Deck. I'm going fast. Can't remember, but there was a. There was some flight sim that I played where if you brought out the landing gear and you were going too fast, landing gear would just shred off of your plane. Yeah, you wonder if this is what the devs thought Westerners would like in terms of the music? Yeah, maybe? Impressive, or they just didn't want to take any risks? But this came out so shortly after Ace Combat Zero. I mean, they probably had another team, like, making a new engine or working on the tech. And then we're, again, I think, pretty, um, restrained in terms of the scope of the game, which is smart. Rolf? Ralph? Thanks for the prime. I pulled up and I slowed down. They didn't even have to tell me to do it. I have an ace 
pilot, it's kind of weird that they don't put the cockpit over you. Yeah, there's no, there's no like actual cockpit. It's just off. Or I guess no, the strut is just in the back, which is what it looks like. All right, never mind. That's pretty cool. Aircraft down. You've cleared all the training sequences. Looks like you're ready for the front lines. Cool. It's crazy to, that to get from Ace Combat 6 to 7, it took 12 years. Yeah. Longer to get to make the next game than it did to make like five other Ace Combat games. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I really don't. The Japanese developers at the onset of the this generation of hardware. They just struggled hard to get games out. They just couldn't do it anymore. I am Lieutenant Colonel Wojciech of the Estovakian Air Force. I arrived on a train to Grace Maria. To my detriment, I sustained a leg injury in the early stages of the war, relegating me to ground duty. I am now working as an intelligence officer for the Air Force. The ceiling has collapsed in the central station. From there, the city appears resigned to its fate beneath the Estovakian flag. What a pitiful sight. But at least there are no craters to mar the land. They are lucky in that sense. Alt Horizon wasn't also that popular. Should have been. I'm going to play it and everyone's going to have to admit how great Assault Horizon is. Go dance with the angels! There goes my spare clothing. be so lucky with these documents. What a miserable city this must be, with their children in such a state. Can't wait to see how great Assault Horizon is. Like, all the... For as, as safe as this game plays it, and it plays it pretty by the numbers, so f well, so far. The final Assault Horizon is just like displayed in this castle. It's very Michael Bay, gone, as I recall. It's rad. I like Black Hawk Down. Even the ancient armor of the Golden King, the collective heart and soul of the city's people, along with the crown, have disappeared without a trace. I must relay this unfortunate information back to the generals in my country. They were quite fond of those antiquities. Was the best soundtrack? Yeah, maybe I'm I'm so over the moon about the soundtrack because I do remember that being phenomenal. Oh, thank you, Bunster. A large-scale formation of Estovakian bombers. It's just like a completely different landmass. The city here on the island of Kesit. The enemy is plotting to storm Campania Airport, where our military is stationed, to stamp us out and put an end to this thing. Enemy bombers are approaching Pitose from the north. Our advance team estimates they'll be above the city in about 15 minutes. Air units are to cooperate with our radar facilities and resume operations. An enemy takeover of Pitose would mean the ultimate destruction of our country and the wave of bombers of our American people. Intercept them at once. Can't have that. You'd be doing A7. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited to get there. Everyone said very nice things about A7. Okay, there's just, yeah, no planes. Love 16. Okay, whatever. Yeah, luckily I have a, uh, I have 
Assault Horizon on disc. It's a bit of a bummer because it was available on Steam, but it is not. Which plane should I select? Anymore. How about my weapon? I can buy a code on like a gray market site, but. That's a weird situation where it's like you can either buy a gray code or you can buy the game used. Either way, the money's like not going to the people who made the game. Those bombers have passed through the mountains and are still on course for Vitoze. They're here. Head back to the base if you need supplies. You can land there at any time. Game doesn't feel as anime as the last one you put. I saw you playing. It's not, is it? It's less anime. A formation of enemy bombers is on its way to Vitoze. Take them out. I think that's some shit. This territory is all we've got left. Garuda team, it's in your hands. We've got to intercept those bombers. Stay within range of the radar facility. That should give you the upper hand in battle. Where are the enemy bombers? Work with our radar facilities on the ground. They should be able to help you out. We'll do what we can to help you within the radar range of us. All these planes they just let you shoot at. This is a very like give the audience what they want kind of kind of mission. Yeah, this is another evidence of like Gen 7 indulgence, I think. Kind of dumbing shit down a little bit. It looks like another formation. I'm sure it'll get uh, more complicated. Some grunge rock now, okay. We're approaching the city. Get on the scene immediately. These visuals are phenomenal. Really enjoying that. All planes are showing up on radar. It's another bomber formation. Intercept. Oh god, that cloud layer. That's a fun sound effect of all the like shrapnel going past your ship. Still marveling at the clouds. Really nice, huh? Duffy little guys. Seven is the most anime? All right. Bomber confirmed down. Keep up the good work. How could that have missed? Yeah, I mean, four wasn't that anime. It was pretty pretty straightforward. I guess one wasn't really that anime. Three was mad anime. Enemy bombers incoming. Intercept. Enemy kill confirmed. If I've had, had Puddle of Mud, I'll never get over that. Puddle of Mud is my favorite anime. Connecting ESM for Garuda 1. Bang, you gave the bear. The bomber squadron's arriving. Well done. 
What's the story in this game so far? Let's see. Uh, a meteor crashed into the Earth. This, this country got to see all the little meteorites fly, fly across the sky, and it was very magical. A neighboring country, uh, not Yuktobania. We have radar lock -off. You go, something like that. Uh, they actually got hit with all the meteors, devastated their economy, they had a civil war. Estovakia, there we go. I, re I remember it every time, first time. Estovakia had a civil war. Uh, as part of that strife, a military group came into power. And now they've invaded. Because their shit got all fucked up by the meteor and they gotta... They gotta put food on the table. Nice little trails look great. Roger that, Avalanche. I'll just report you as gunned down and missing in action. <laughs> That's pretty harsh, Ghost Eye. All planes, it's time to get on home now. Try and make it back for supper. Who is the protag? Uh, well, the pilot is nameless. It has no voice. Says nothing, does nothing. Blows everything up. It sounds like my, uh... Camera work? What? It sounds like my, my co-pilot is PJ, but it's not him. It's some dude. Yeah, pilot husband, dead. That meteor was the same Ulysses asteroid that impacted Yuzia before the events of Ace Combat 4. Oh. Okay. I don't remember that. <laughs> Happening in Ace 4. Or before Ace 4. But, uh, cool. But yeah, daughter is alive. Pilot husband, not alive. Enemy aircraft around the Kessid perimeter have been... Our forces have taken Oops. advantage of this opportunity to arrange a swift counterattack. We expect the best from you. Your talisman and your buddy is Shamrock. Yes, that's right. That did that was said in a cutscene. My daughter is alive somewhere in Grace Mary. I mean, I guess technically your husband might be alive too. It took me. You only saw the wreck. Here. All right, let's connect. Days of walking, but I know this road ends somewhere up ahead. Maybe the developers of this game were unaware. Sometimes pilots can eject from planes. There was no need to think about how to cross the river. Didn't that soldier on the tank say they were going to destroy this bridge before the enemy came? I start to feel as if... Things never go as they are said to. <laughs> nice Crocs, lady. Was that something going the way it was set, supposed to, though? Simply feel. Getting other M vibes? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Sort of detached whisper. You've been ordered to start the mission. It feels a little more thematically appropriate for Ace Combat. This is a game that like hits you with some and the Republic of America solemn harmonica music. Of this prime opportunity in between missions where you blow up rad shit. All forces participating. Enemy forces have established a wide-scale defensive line around Sipley Field, consisting largely of tank battalions. Our ground forces are set up to cross the river and penetrate it, yeah. and eventually regain control of Kesset. Garuda team, we need you to support our advancing ground units and eliminate all enemy forces. Multiple units will be simultaneously carrying out various operations on the ground. Pay attention to the airspace above each operation area and provide support as needed. This must be the first time you've ever participated in... <laughs> Scale. How did you know? The battle simulator is a good way to get some practical experience under your belt. Godspeed. I refuse. Pretty much nothing in Ace Combat would have happened if not for that asteroid hitting Earth. No wars, no super weapons, no need for large aerial forces. Huh. Interesting. New plane? No. 
Maybe I need bombs this time now? That's an interesting way to do this. Long range artillery unit assaults. Hmm. With this. Ghost die to all forces. We're about to engage enemy units on the other side of the river from multiple angles. This is Warlock Battalion. We'll be keeping the central unit occupied. Fox Battalion here. We're set up to hit all enemy units on the east side. Garuda team, provide cover for our troops on the ground and eliminate all Estovakia ground forces. Choose any area you want to cover. Cross the return line if you need supplies. It's at the south end of the airspace. They've got way more guys than us. Great oh, there is a return line. Huh. Let's get on, Garuda One. That's not as fun. Operation ID device when the battle gets too heavy. Your radar display can be toggled for each operation. This is Warlock. We're about to contain the main enemy forces across the river. Blast the hell out of anything that moves. Don't let enemy forces reach Warlock Battalion. Take them out before they cross the bridge. Out before they cross the bridge. miss the other gosh there's just so many targets uh it's a little hard to like parse the uh a little hard to parse the mini map with how much how many targets there are uh, how important all of they all are apparently uh which ones are the close ones though Way to zoom. Hmm. You can toggle the radar to display. Wait. Oh, only for a specific operation, I see. Like the A, B, or C one? Darn it. Ugh. the button for that. That's... Also, what's this yellow meter down at the bottom? Is that fuel? Uh... E pad Oh, there we go. Yeah, you're right. Wait, what operation are they doing? What operation are they doing? Missile evaded. Behind 
I think it was these helicopters I had to get. I got lock on. Launching missile. Okay. Alright. Alright. Roger, Quox. Garuda team, move on to a different unit. Ghost Eye to Garuda team, listen up. Aircraft that have already completed their operation objective are being sent your way. Call them in when you need backup. Flares? Yeah, some of the flares. I don't need them though. Just gotta fly good. Yeah, they swapped the yaw and the uh, throttle to put the throttle on the trigger, which makes sense. It's just taking me a second to get used to. In gun range. The main enemy battalion has been destroyed. Thanks for I can see why they would want guns to be cool and OP because the effect of flying through that shrapnel is really cool. Enemy forces have been dealt a heavy blow. All planes move into action against any forces still remaining. They're not going anywhere. I won't let them get away. Tell us, don't go thinking we can win this war all by ourselves. If the enemy becomes more than you can handle, don't be afraid to request allied support. Oh, how? I didn't do the tutorial. Oh, there we go. Okay. Does that just mean... Oh! That's what that means. Cool! You just shoot the hell out of whatever you're staring at? Just I'm into that. Just cross over the safety line and head back to base if you need supplies. Oh, each wow! Each shot is one. I thought it was like each shot was like eight. Oh my gosh, Commander Moose! Thank you for the sub. The allied support is what the meter on the bottom is for. Okay, is it like? Okay, it uses one tick. Interesting. Okay. This area has been cleared of enemy forces. We got a super meter now. Neat. Back to base. They just they're giving you all these tools to just shred more and more planes. I guess that's the whole thing with this game. Just outrageous kill counts. Discovered Hygie turns yet? Is that in this one? How do you do it? What do you do? What buttons do you hit? They haven't tutorialized me on it yet. Thanks to your efforts, we have completed this mission successfully. Emerian oh, forces both triggers? were able okay. to extend to the center of Kesed, expanding their power in the region. Estevakian forces were driven off the front line and have retreated to Bartolomeo Fortress, which is located in the center of the island. This mission long. should have given them a good taste of what our forces are capable of. Soon, we'll be able to drive all Estevakian forces out of Kesson. Those dang Estevakians. That's right. Zezanizzle. I'm enjoying this high-def gameplay. Quality digital video signal. This guy's up next, huh? Hope he's happy with my name, rank, number, and birthday. Cause that's all he's gonna get out of me. He's all skin and bones, with eyes like a hawk. But that badge, and the cane. Old Hawkeyes here must have broken his wings in combat. Hey, look at me. I'm no different. The sky I took for granted now seems so far away. Now that my little adventure here with Hawkeyes is over. All that awaits.
awaits me as a present cell. These prisoners have lost their will to fight. The Amerian military administration is broken. They have nobody in power to provide the support they need. It's only a matter of time before they collapse. Well. <sighs> Perhaps the fires of war. Fires of combat? What is this game called? <clears throat> The fires of liberation will forge Ameria into a strong new nation. The final remnant of Estevakian forces on this island is concentrated on Mount Marcello in northern Kesset. The enemy is mainly distributed throughout this mountainous area, with Bartolomeo Fortress as its center of operations. Providing a variety of high-level defensive measures and offensive might, this fortress also boasts strong anti-air capabilities. Our ground unit in this mission is to split into two groups, to the east and west, along with an air unit mainly providing ESN, which gives us three units in total. Garuda team, we need you to cover each of these units in whichever order you feel is necessary. The situation will change depending on which turn a particular battle takes. You'll need to keep close tabs on the combat situation of each unit to successfully complete this mission. Our forces huh. on the mainland are scattered and desperate, doing all they can. I guess you just to yeah. We need you to help guarantee their success board, board. on this mission. And success on this mission is measured by how much support you can provide them with. Support board. board. I guess you gotta you gotta just really pay attention to the radio chatter, huh? Bartolomeo is in this. Board board. Oh, it's a character. All right. Complain? No. Someday. Market pop is actually not not bad. The hitboxes are pretty big. My fort is also named Bort. It is a fort Bort. Talisman, which plane should I pick? How about my weaponry? Are we ready to fly with these planes? How about my weaponry? Talisman, which plane should I pick? You see, shoot on the HUD, you'll get read-ahead fire, which increases the homing of your missile when you lead your shot. You'll hear a higher-pitched tone if you get it. Oh. That's cool. I wonder what that indicator meant. <clears throat> Excuse me. How about my weaponry? Oh, there's so many ground targets. The rocket pod was actually kind of handy. Talisman, how about my weaponry? Are we ready to fly with Garuda team? Time to take off. This is an F-16 only game. For real? Just one plane? Why does the HUD make it seem like there's more than that? Huh. Oh. This is Ghost Eye to all okay, then yeah, this is this is super limited in scope. This is Warlock. Hey, Bartolomeo! Wait, sorry, sarcasm. Because it doesn't work in text. Only 15 planes. All right. Well, that's more than one. A little bit more than one. Uh. Use the operation ID device when the battle gets too heavy. Your radar display can be toggled for each operation. Is it out of range? Warlock Battalion is heading for the first checkpoint at a steady pace. Enemy facility was destroyed. Garuda team, back up the Warlock Battalion. Alright, I will. I'll do that in just a sec. Back up the Warlock Battalion. Oh, that's what I'm doing. Don't get overconfident. That train's got some wicked firepower. Wicked. Yaw. Oh. Woo! That didn't kill the battle train. Garuda 1, destroy enemy aircraft. Warlock Battalion is approaching the first checkpoint now. 
Crew to one, commencing full rocket fire. Good lord! The devastation. Radar lock. Warlock Battalion has arrived at the first checkpoint. Boy, it like spawned a lot of dudes. Alright. Oh, what the hell? Oh! Okay, Sherbrock, roger that. I'm on the attack. Depending on what order you do them in, like if I do this one first, then I get the, I get like the radar buff, I guess. Missile strike confirmed. Keep providing cover for snake pit. Number three is down. My right wing is full of holes. Targets at the second checkpoint. Sucks. Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go help Warlock Battalion. Now, the enemy has you on radar. There's some pillboxes left over. Watch out for that missile, Garuda One. Ones. Fox Battalion has lost half its forces. The situation is getting worse. Oh no! Anti-aircraft gun taken out. Careful now! The enemy has you on radar! Get over there and help out. God, all those smoke trails look so cool. Watch out! They've got a lock on you from the ground. Fox Battalion has arrived at the first checkpoint. Talisman, don't be afraid to request Allied support. Ahead. Trying to. Leading 
Clock's battalion is heading for the second checkpoint at a steady pace. Now, this is a pretty, this is a pretty interesting mission. A lot going on. The talisman is locked on. Missile strike confirmed. Oh, game looking sexy? You're just listening until now? It doesn't look very good. Yeah. They're getting some mileage out of that, that lower frame rate. Right? Yeah, it looks crisp. This is the future of gaming. Commencing full rocket fire. We have radar lock on. The mission is going as planned. We're about halfway to the objective. Fox Battalion is approaching the second checkpoint now. Wait till the next Ace Combat game on Unreal Engine 5. Ooh. Yeah, I'm really excited for that. And I'm not I didn't know it was on Ace Combat or it was on Unreal 5, but that kind of makes sense. I was kind of talking about how it seemed like a lot of a lot of Japanese developers really struggled with um, Gen, Gen 7. Mission accomplished. Getting their own engines up and working kind of stuff. Huh. The enemy fortress. Seems to have picked up way more now that Roger. they just a lot of them are just using Unreal. Two unknown enemy fighters have been detected. Two enemy fighters approaching. Those are the aces who attacked Grace Maria! That little girl. There's only two of them. Now's our chance to take them out. God damn. Enemy fortress threat level has been reduced. Garuda team, don't let your guard down. Whoa! I flew in the way. Way too fast. God, look at him. Oh, God. He's so far away, man. Fuck that. Warning, incoming missile. Yeah, shit. Fuck. I really needed to shoot that. Didn't see it until late there. I reached the target point. Commencing attack support. Enemy fortress threat level is even lower now. Maintain current level of engagement. Doing the uh, high G turns or anything. Garuda One, ESM is active. Ground target destroyed. The enemy fortress has just about had it. Our ground unit almost has it under control. Just about had it. Okay, this music's all right. 
rocket fire. It's still a bit generic though. What kind of video gamey video game music? That's a lot of that's a lot of shooting. Oof, that was a long nice one. Work, Garuda team. Garuda team, you guys work too hard. You're still in a thunder. Barbarian slaughter. 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 Barbarian Crush not less ye be crushed? We have successfully retaken Bartolomeo Fortress. With the successful execution of this mission, Imerian forces have regained complete control of Keset Island. A plan to retake the mainland is now in the works. We're about to get into some serious combat. Combat for aces, maybe? It's not just my zone. Our post hey, Stabby. The bridge was shut yeah, I'm getting real familiar with this F-16. Those ever so helpful choppers were nice enough to wait until the last second to come bail us out of that death trap. The three of us are all that's left of our company. Sergeant Torch is our driver. He never knows when to shut up. Sergeant Hobbsbaum, who never says a damn thing, mans the gun. And I'm Sergeant McKnight, the captain. Since we're all sergeants, we had to draw straws for the captain's seat. And the winner is yours truly. I'd live sweet and easy on this night for the rest That's of my That's a really cool word. Could. Really cool name. The flyboys, on the other hand, are workaholics. They drove a whole mess of enemy troops off this rock. And that's why we're holed up in this damn landing ship playing five-card stud. I don't know what those flyboys are trying to pull, but this is the worst landing operation I've ever heard of. I always knew Donnie had sticky fingers. Apparently, he was robbing banks before he joined the service. What an idiot. Oh, come on, just hear me out. A lot of characters here, huh? Five years ago, before I joined the military, I was digging a tunnel straight towards Grace Maria's central bank when... Donnie says the Estevakians haven't been able to get the safe open yet. He also says he dug an underground tunnel that got him within a few feet of the vault. Is this guy for real? But if he really dug a tunnel that close to the vault, I just want to know one thing. I'm gonna fly what a plane the hell in it. are we still doing here? Once we're back on the mainland, we've got to get to that bank before the Estevakians get their filthy paws on our loot. What do we got to lose? Didn't expect this to turn into a heist. Ah, the A-10 returns. Music of the tides. Music of the tides. Imagine somebody I'm about to go over the mission content. On the Santa Monica Pier My singing way. this to the Day sunset. We have organized enough troops and intelligence to retake the mainland. Soon the Amerian military will initiate an operation designed to take back the Amerian mainland. Our forces on the mainland are growing more exhausted as each day passes. If we don't act soon, they will be wiped out completely. Our bridgehead for disembarking troops on the mainland will be established at Rargom Beach on the western tip of Ania. You're just making shit up. Sending in units by Rargom. This is going to be a large-scale mission, so do all you can to see it through to the end. This mission will be divided into multiple units. Two hovercraft units bringing our landing units to shore and a fleet of ships to attack the enemy from out at sea. Our hovercraft unit needs support in order to bring in the landing unit safely and for taking over points on the ground. Our fleet needs support in order to thoroughly defeat enemy forces close to the sea or in the vicinity of oil fields. It would be to our advantage if you could rush to various attack points and take them out before our units have to deal with them. Swift and accurate execution is extremely important in this mission in order to gain a secure foothold. Don't hold back. Show us what you're made of out there. Okay. 
Uh, do you have to like kill all of the target enemies in a cluster to have a benefit? Or if you like just do like a sweep and kill as many targets of opportunity as you can and then move on, will the reduction in enemy forces mean that your side won't die as fast? Or is it purely just like you just have to wipe out that cluster of enemies to get a benefit or like mission progress? You have to get the most civilian casualties? Perfect. Hmm. Curious how the advanced air to ground is in this this mission. Time to burr. Oh, it's time to burr. Time to burr. Burr. Fifty-six. Which plane should I pick? How about my weaponry? Are we ready to fly? Garuda team, time to take off. Just blow up everything. That's the most fun solution. Yeah, I guess they're uh, they're impressing on me the the stakes. Okay, I'll start here, then I can like swoop across the mainland. Love the mainland so much. To all forces, we're about to start the landing operation. This is Warlock Battalion. We'll be disembarking on the central coast to take over a stretch of land there. Warlock's Battalion here. We're set to disembark on the west side. Take control of Artara and have another unit take the airport behind us. There's a flagship Marigold of the second fleet. We are suddenly destroying the enemy fleet solution near those oil facilities close to the sea. Garuda team, your job is to eliminate any threats posed to our forces in each of these combat zones. Begin operation. Oh, how effective these guys are. Okay, good. They go straight down. Oh! Omar! Shocks, I'm missing. Ugh, I got. got the fuck? Look at this tank. Whoops. <laughs> All right. A little too slow. You can retake the airport, you can land there instead of having to go return to the return line. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to figure out like, what exactly is the consequence of which missions you do in which order. Ghost die to all I thought I was clear. About to start the landing operation. Like what, how you should prioritize? They're just saying, just like, pay attention and try to blow up everything. Which I guess might be as simple as it is. This might be it. Garuda team, your job is to eliminate any threats posed to our forces in each of these combat zones. Begin operation. Ass tank. Hiding. 
Take too long, an operation will fail. Too many of them fail, the entire mission will fail. Usually they let you get away with one. Yeah, I thought I saw that. Like, you need two succeeded operations. more stuff. Missiles take so long to hit, and the, like the sheer number of targets you have to take down. I don't know. I think Rocket Pod might be better. Lord. Yeah, the number of hard points. Yeah. for checking out this artillery, though. Kind of interesting. Interesting. You can, like split up and dance back and forth. Yes, I, I guess I wonder does it actually track the relative health of all the ground units? So if you thin out. Fighter spotted coming out of the airport. We think they're after our chopper unit. Move to intercept. If you thin out a uh, like ground forces, does it mean that your ground forces can handle fights that they wouldn't have been able to handle so you can go do other stuff? I don't know. I didn't take out that one plane that was going to take out the chopper because it wasn't marked as like a... Damn it, where did it go? Yeah, there it went. Should have just broken taking care of it. Watch out! The enemy has a lock on you! Oh, whoa. That was really loud. Jeez. Ugh, so wobbly. Okay, I'm still with me. 
more dudes the second you kill it's just more guys in yet. <laughs> Fourth Fester. I'm trying to Fox 2. I'm trying to get my Fox 2 on here. Garuda 1 launched missile. About half the enemy forces are down. Looks like this will be an easy ride for our forces coming ashore. Oh. All special weapons used. Enemy tank has been destroyed. Watch out! The enemy has a lock on you! Fox 2. help the other the other group at all. Ooh. I have a hundred and seventy one missiles though. These are just war misdemeanors. Yeah, it's all in good fun. That, huh? Okay, I get it now. She's singing. All right. Get out of there! Lock on. 
the hell am I supposed to be attacking right now? We have radar lock on. Enemy facility was destroyed. Careful now. The enemy has you on radar. I'm hitting something. We won't be able to construct anything. They didn't take take the no. They never took the air, airport. Maybe I should swing back over there. Take another pass pack, past the center. There's so many targets. Radar lock. Ground target destroyed. Wrong wrong buttons, but that's okay. Let me swing back over here and see if I can liberate this airport. Component 2, launched missile! <laughs> so many beeps! Shut up! I've lost contact with Scorpio. Whew. Okay. Oh, a little much, a little much. Just wanted to look up a little. I wanted to see these cool trails in the sky. I don't have cover. I have three billion missiles, though. I have to take out these goddamn planes in an A-10. Yeah, so that's happening. I'm kind of, I'm kind of all about people monstering that poor spoken ad. Boy, that was bad. Watch out! The enemy has a lock on you. Never happened before, ever. These games remind me of that PS2 anime ship game where you build your own ships. Naval Ops Warship Gunner? That sounds awesome. Keep an eye on your 6 o'clock. Focus all efforts on that Imperial landing unit. It must be destroyed at all costs. I never played that one. Commencing full rocket fire. I've got a lock on. Connecting ESM for Garuda 1. Landed at my 12. Locking off. Missile strike confirmed. There we go. Okay, so now I can use support? Thing twingle? We've lost most of our guys. Preparing to fan out what we've got left to reduce the damage. The enemy's concentrating all fire on our landing unit. Provide cover immediately. Without them, there's no chance of retaking Ortara. On my way. Okay, there we go. Somebody's doing some real magic with that hi hat. Commencing full rocket fire. Roger that, Garuda One. Time to attack. Enemy tank has been destroyed.
Oh, we need a remake of it in Chrome Hounds? Man, Chrome Hounds was awesome. Lock on. Chrome Hounds is one of those games, kind of to throw back to an earlier topic. I kind of get why it didn't take off. Chrome Hounds was too good for this world. Too smart. Too slow. Especially, like, everybody wanted instant thrills. I do. But, uh, this is gonna be uh, a skewed landing, but that's okay. Oh, they're coming after me, though. Gears down. Ooh. Cut that. Cut that speed. Oh, 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 there we go. I can swap it out for the rocket pods. Yes. You losers are going to get it now. Oh, look at all my homies flying around. Oops. <laughs> Take off complete. Good luck up there. Lock on. Box two. Thank you, Xbox. Anti-aircraft gun taken out. What the fuck am I hitting? What's going on? What the? That was weird. Huh. Bandit in my 12. Locking off. Helicopters flying in the way and eating these rockets. Missiles. I guess the A-10 just shoots more missiles, too. Screenshot will go viral, no doubt. Oh, absolutely. Everything I do goes viral. I'm a hit factory.
Have you ever used or needed a share button on a PlayStation controller? No. I have recorded a couple of things, like, on Xbox, though. I think there's opportunity to just, like, post dumb gaming clips. I think the problem is, like, the editing, the editing suite. Just to trim a clip or something like that on both PlayStation and Xbox, not very good. The Xbox One crashes all the time. It's it's like so bad. It just doesn't work. All I want to do is trim a video, and I always get all these Xbox Live errors. Uh, Monk Just, thank you very much for gifting five subs. Oh, appreciate your dedication to the craft of gaming, as expressed by your sub gift there. Thank you for the support. We destroyed all the adversaries yet. Well, I'm working on it diligently. Box two. Lock on! Converted two fired! Talisman, we've almost got him. Ever so diligently. Can you? Oh, okay. Oh, shit! I guess it's all anti-air now. Hopefully my homies will take all this shit out before I have to. Oh, it's the... I hear it now. The, doo -doo -doo -doo. That's like the... Ooh! Okay. That's the bonus. Hmm. Box three, box three. Fighter pilots wear diapers. This one does. Just can't beat the comfort. Yeah, you gotta hold all the cum. Target confirmed. You don't want to gumming up your controls. This is pretty rad. This is alright. The visuals the visuals do make this a fun game. And it's certainly like it's an evolution of scale. Enemy plane down. There's just tons more planes, tons more targets, and all the weapons have sort of adapted to accommodate for there just being boatloads of targets. I guess since you have an HD display now too, that's another kind of evidence. Not only do you have the technical capacity to draw that many enemies, but you also have the resolution to draw the UI to make that many enemies mostly intelligible. of the enemy on radar. They've been wiped out completely. First tried playing this game on an SD CRT and I couldn't make out the HUD. Yeah. Oh. It's kind of surprising because this is a pretty early 360 game. And they, 360s didn't even have HDMI out to start. They did by 2008, but... Or, two, wait, no, 2007. Bone Sir, your sub didn't pop up. That's lame. Let me see if I can... So I can replay it. Sometimes the sometimes the alerts are just really slow. Let's go home. Back to our loved ones. Oh, here we go. Yeah, look at that. We got the Batman Forever GIF. Take a look. Hell yeah. Thanks, Bunster. To all forces. We're about to start the landing operation. Oh, that was a pretty thick mission. 
remember Enemy Dead Rising being one of the games where people at STTVs got real upset at 360 games because it was unplayable at 480i. Yeah, a lot of the text was super not readable. Full relief and support to our exhausted forces on the Yeah, you gotta like... The American military is that was the days where you had to take... You either had to pick new technology and that meant that the there were serious trade-offs. But that's like... That's the consequence of, really of advancement. Yeah, it's just kind of been on a standard for the last 15 and get ready years for some action up there. We don't want this to be your last mission. I thought that's what I did. Okay, so I guess... You don't have to finish all three. You have, you have to finish two of them. Hmm. It doesn't seem like... There's a whole bunch of consequences. Like the third one just gets auto-completed or something? Since the, the Marigold's in this mission, I'll share the video that's on Reddit. Oh, got a meme there. Okay. Maybe that'll make more sense after I play this level. Looked like a quality meme, though. I had no idea. I should have thought more about the kind of people who would be traveling to Grace Maria. Now that we're in the midst of war. Her name is Ludmilla. Ludmilla? She was an Estovakian medical student studying in Nordnavik, a neutral country. Her boyfriend is a soldier in the Estovakian military. She firmly believes that going to Grace Maria will somehow reunite them. It took a long time to get even that much out of her. A wind of 558. Time, she hardly says a word. Thanks for the prime. We're certainly an odd pair of travel companions. Two women. Hopelessly in search of their loved ones. Whispering. Talking gently. Maybe it's the language there barrier. But talking doesn't seem to be our strong point. Your luggage. But I feel Are they going to pop the clutch? Goal that goes far beyond words. Yeah. I had to do that shit once. I had to like kick my van down a hill and then drop the, drop the clutch on it to get it started. Now that's a lost art. No one does that shit anymore. And the bronze ace. That's pretty cool. First time I ran across technology requiring other technology was when I got Star Wars X-Wing Alliance and couldn't play it without a joystick. Then me and my dad went with me to... Or my dad went with me to Best Buy and got us one. While he was there, he saw Star Wars Episode One Racer, which he decided to buy for both We've of us. Got a large Man, that's awesome. Rollins plane. Random Around treats from dad. Town. Those troops are isolated with no means of retreat. Surrounded by enemies and on the verge of total annihilation. With our substation as a focal point, the enemy is positioned a full 360 degrees around the troops, with intense attacks pounding away at our line of defense. If we could somehow manage to join up with our besieged forces there, we could considerably strengthen their position. God. This is where you come in. Okay, quota three, I see. Surrounded unit. And I get it now. Forces throughout the Rollins you have to do three submissions to progress the mission. You get to choose based on a loadout of your plane if you want to like focus on anti-air or anti-ground operations. Okay, I get it. And then some of them will... Okay, yeah, some of them give you like... A meter or the ability to call in reinforcements and stuff. Okay. It'd be cool if, like, each each submission listed whether or not it there was some operational bonus for it, such as that, like, doing that one and getting getting the uh, landing strip to land on, or doing another one and then getting 
uh, support to Cullen. Hello, Omni Heart. Uh, hello. All right, I think it's actually it's time for another snack. I think I need another snack. It's getting a little late. Let me check. Let me check my vitals. Check my stats. Yeah, I'd say it's snack time. All right, I'm gonna take a. I'm just gonna make a sandwich. It's not gonna take long. Five minutes, maybe, maybe ten. I'll be back. See you soon. Ooh, guess what? I'm back. Back. I ate a sandwich. Controller turned itself off. How's everybody doing? And turn Hulk. Dragon Busters. That's a really cool thing. Multi hits around. Anti air. There's like. You need a quote of three, and there's only one anti air and only one multi. So it's just still a ground heavy. or ground target heavy operation. It seems like. I'm starting to, to detect that it might just be the most efficient to just bull rush your way through operations as close as they are to you and just keep knocking out targets until it says it's done and then just do that three times that's return from getting some cigarettes yeah i'm the first one ever what oh the pizza pizza seasoning Tornado might be worth it, because boy, doing a... Uh, might be good. Huh. Try it. Go dance with the angels? Why would you tell me to do that, Shockwing? Don't you understand the significance of that phrase in the game? Which plane should I pick? How about my weapon? Are we ready to fly? Garuda team, time to take off. I don't know how much... Wingman is really pulling weight here. But that's okay. Oh, there's not six. What? It's like each one is two? Whatever. All planes, listen up. Our forces are completely surrounded over a wide area. We've got six sectors of operation to concentrate on. Use your radar to check enemy position and move out to each area. We better move. Our forces could get wiped out at any second now. That's right. Our ground unit is on its last legs trying to keep them covered. Return to base if you need supplies. No use fighting on an empty stomach. Okay. Okay, so you can also return to base. You can RTB in this. That's good. Uh, oh! Something else occurred to me. Um, a potential reason why... Maybe why this game is a little more... Like, it's a little more s sanitized, I want to say. I forgot, this was published, like... It was published as part of a Microsoft agreement. And it was exclusive, so... Maybe it was the combination of... Being on a new console. Not wanting to take risks outside of just nailing the tech and the fidelity of the game, and then also publishing, working with a Western company. Oh. It is just kind of like Ace Combat 4 HD so far. Which is alright. Still quite good. I'm getting distracted. Scrap metal now. Okay, Shamrock, roger that. I'm on the attack. Garuda team, initiate close range air support. Get out there and hit what you can. Bust some heads, talisman. Take care of business. Is there such a thing as friendly fire? Sounds like Max Payne. We have radar lock on. That makes me love it Enemy even more. That reminds me, I gotta get back to playing Max Payne, though, huh? They my enemy help. We're surrounded. Finish Max Payne one. Man, what a class game! Just so good. I 
Oh, this is from another operation. No, I don't want that. The enemy radar vehicles seem to be providing ESM. It's not looking good. Got it, huh? Enemy tank has been destroyed. Lawrence, stop. Your backlog is already at like 20 games. It is, but Max Payne is so short. And I already f I finished one today. Careful. My pace is unrelenting. Connecting ESM for Garuda One. Oh, that, was, that wasn't good. What about the Devil May Cry franchise? Yes, must play through the entire Devil May Cry franchise. Commencing bomblet dispersal. It's not short when you play on maximum difficulty. Although I guess you already beat the first one, which was the most bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Boy, it was an interesting uh, bit of nostalgia. We can't give up control. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think melted. Dragon Buster! Enemy radar vehicle destroyed. Knock down their defenses. Said I'm not your buddy. I'm a Dragon Buster! Listen here, guy. Get it right. Missiles might Dragon Busters have lost about 40% of their forces. They can't do this alone. All enemy forces are eliminated. Operation accomplished. About this all the wrong way. Almost in effective range. I got some of those. Flex the pecs just a bit. No, you're gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to wait until the gaming euphoria overtakes me and I involuntarily flex every muscle in my body. That'll also be when my clothes explode off. 
It'll be a high tension moment because the fate of my Twitch channel will be in the balance. Look forward to that. A lot of drama coming up on the stream. Oh! That was awesome. For an Estovakian unit that's just started pulling out of action. But I'm a lot better at chasing than being chased. All green units are spread out and close in on the Estovakian unit. Show no mercy. Dragon Buster. If I want to target a target, how do I find it? Okay, that wasn't so bad. That was actually pretty easy. This mission is going well. All forces, keep the pressure on. Shouldn't be. Shouldn't be up here dogfighting. You do have to take down these. You do have to take down all the turrets. Shamrock's over there doing whatever. Maybe I just need to keep Shamrock on me. I feel like he might be. Yeah, he's just fighting nothing. He's just dicking around. I feel like it, Shamrock is probably wasted, left to his own devices. Roger that. I'll back you up. Can't handle them alone. We're swigging team. Enemy facility taken out. Damn it. Ugh. What a combination of buttons you have to hit. music or AC7 music is legendary I'm uh I'm excited to hear it this music isn't bad but it does well it's getting better this track is nice I like the I like the drums I've got lock on. enemy facility was destroyed it just seems like they're kind of slightly punched up versions of a lot of the music that's already been in the series especially considering that like Assault Horizon is a few years away. Oh, God. Soundtrack. Can't wait. But this is okay. This is okay. It's just like good video game soundtrack. Yeah, I think I think rocket pods are still the way to go. I think that's still the juice. There is a target somewhere, kind of in this direction. There you are. I see you.
has you on radar. I gotta turn off my fan. It's finally cold enough, but cold enough, I should say. Missile struck target. So what's the deal? Oh, there's some stuff up here. So. Heading into 7 after this? Yes. Well, wait, no. After this is uh, Assault Horizon, then 7. Absolutely not skipping a Assault Horizon. I'm going to replay that game, and anyone that says anything bad about it will get banned. We'll ban everyone. I have 1 million subs, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. I can just ban everyone. What's up? Huh? Can can it wait a little bit? Can it wait a little bit? I don't want to turn off my cam. Not yet, anyway. Steph is going to set up some new lights. But she didn't want to be on camera. Talisman is locked on. Missile struck. Gun train? Ooh. Oh, thank you, Ethan. Missile missed its target. Ooh, Falling Lotus. Thanks for the tip. Thank you very much. Anything about Ida's comments on Cyberpunk? Oh my gosh. Uh, ambitious, slightly delusional, maybe? Well, this is Ida's Montreal, right? I mean, they made Deus Ex Human Revolution. Which is essentially kind of what Cyberpunk was sort of trying to be. So, uh... Missile struck target. No, I think... I think they're well within their rights to say that. I think they know exactly what kind of game Cyberpunk was. Uh, I think they've... They know how to make good versions of that. I think they have made good versions of that. Um, it would be cool if under Embracer... Launching uh, I need to look up the, the exact wording of the comment again. But, um... I'm going to guess under Embracer, they're just trying to, like, seed interest in a Deus Ex-style game. Um, or, or like, a much larger scope Deus Ex. It seems pretty clear to me. Human Revolution was pretty appropriately scoped, but it seemed, some, seemed like Mankind Divided just kind of stopped. Um, and I think that they just had to, like... I think Square probably gave them a ship date they had to hit. And, and they just worked until they were out of time. Definitely had the feeling of that kind of game. So I'm gonna guess, on the context of that, they probably still want to make that game. Um, but probably have the, like, time and budget to make it to the scope of 2077. Like an open world, full city. But, like, Human Revolution. So they can do it. They've done it. Uh, and they have the, they have the pedigree to talk about making a game like that. have been eliminated from the mission areas. That's enough dancing for today. Time to get on home now. I could have danced a few more numbers. I'm still dancing here. Go ahead and leave without me. Don't give me that sky. Oh, look kid. at the rays. After bedtime. Oh. Mother goes die. But I guess we should be getting back. Rays. Oh, widescreen really has done wonders for making this game playable with cockpit view. All planes, listen up. Our forces are completely surrounded over a wide area. We've got six sectors of operation. Our besieged unit is now free, and enemy forces have been annihilated. Mission accomplished. Now that our unit has been freed, we are able to join up with them for a considerable gain in our land. So wait, the Magnolia was in that? Or was that the mission before this? This enables us to continue advancing east, to recapture our nation, and tighten the noose around Estovakia's military. We now have an open path to Grace Marion. All pilots, best of luck. Mankind Divided was supposed to kickstart a larger Deus Ex franchise, so it makes sense. It feels kind of unfinished in order to lead into other content. Huh. I guess they did some of that with, De with Deus Ex 1. They had like the mobile app and then the DLC, just kind of side stories. <laughs> Who does this guy think he is? No way we'd ever lose to a bunch of guys like this. Enough already. Take him away. And all the talent leaves square. Uh, I got a little piece uh, of advice for you. A grip of. Go dance with the angels. Come on. God, it is him. Except I'll bet you couldn't dance your way out of a paper bag. 
Uh, they sold a lot of studios to Embracer Group and a lot of IP. Undisclosed amount of IP. And I'm pretty sure like Deus Ex Thief, a Legacy of Cain, and a few others were mentioned. And Embracer's like, yeah, we'll make the shit out of this. Square didn't want to, didn't want to run with it? Okay. Embracer was basically like, in like three years, we're going to have ass loads of games. <laughs> so... Apparently, he fought his way through insurmountable odds. Look forward to that. 2025 is going to be some bumper crop. Go dance with the angels. Shut up. Damn, dude. Oh, everyone's saying it now. Another defiant one. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Shimmering Death. I'm gonna play the DLC and VR missions in AC7. DLC, yeah. I don't know about VR. There's VR specific Our missions. Have expanded. Estevakia's military forces in Ania will gradually start to diminish each time they suffer a loss in various areas. Are they good? According to intelligence from our Department of National Safety, there's a section where enemy defenses are low, near Salumna Peaks in central Ania. That section of land is an ideal route for our troops to take, in terms of topography and weather as well. We're going to use this route. It's a steep mountain path covered in snow, which is extremely difficult for our ground unit to advance through. It also renders it vulnerable to air attacks. Make sure to cover our ground unit, and if you spot any threats from the sky, eliminate them. If an emergency happens to occur, deal with it in any way you see fit. Once we get past those mountains, we'll be in the center of Ania. I just realized this wireframe too seems seems to have been crafted to really show off somebody's crispy HD TV. All the fine detail on the on this wireframe rotating around. You just imagine somebody like firing up their 1080p screen and being like, "Oh, bro, look! Oh, oh, oh!" <laughs> Estovakia. I keep forgetting the name of the other country. What do they call them? Estos? What's the... I, there's some slur they've been throwing around. Is that the Doom 3 narrator? Maybe it is Doom 3. Yeah, the UAC guy? When I when I heard UAC, I was thinking uh, 2016. But yeah. That is the that is the Doom 3. Well, maybe? God, it, it's... Uh, Stovies. Yeah, that's the one. Estovakian. All right, Stovi. Got it. All right. Fancy air all around. It's a party. See if I can buy a, a good fighter. I mean, the 16 is a really good fighter. Maybe I just... Oh. For Tomcat. Fly-by-wire variable geometry wings. Oh, I thought the 15 was the Tomcat. Oops. The costly to maintain this carrier-based aircraft's wide array of advanced capabilities place it at the pinnacle of modern aircraft design. Unparalleled top speed and acceleration coupled with high maneuverability and stability make the F-14D an impressive aircraft. Long-range missile armaments also allow for preemptive striking capability on multiple enemy aircraft. Top gun plane? Hell yeah. Oh, a penny bomb. I'm gonna take that one out. Take it up for a spin. Tell us, which plane should I pick? How about my weapon? Are we ready to fly with these planes? Garuda team, time to take off. I mean, I guess, I guess fighters will spawn here. Oh, hell yes. Hell yeah, bro. All about this right now. Oh, I get that feather control. Get that analog trigger. Gaming has never been more HD. Come on. What? 
It's not gonna actually get in there? Oh, there we go, okay. What a weird situation. How does this work? So, so ridiculous. Refueling in flight. Coolest thing in the world. It shouldn't work like this. Just a giant tube you fly into. Awesome. Man, absolutely rad cutscene. On their way. They're not stupid, you know. Headwaters here with some great news. Rumor has it that yeah, it just spawned me further back. It's gonna make me. It's gonna take a little bit longer to get up there and kill everybody. There was no reason to spawn back here. I think a lot of positive things are about to happen. Enemy presence detected on radar. They knew exactly what we plan to do. All planes, assume attack formation. I can hardly see a thing. We've got mountains right below us. Watch your altitude, talisman. Well, it ain't Garuda. The enemy is focusing its attacks on us. Requesting an intercept. Possibly you may finish this game in a single night. Maybe. I was thinking about it. Unrelenting video game progress. I've got a new aircraft on radar. This must be a wave of attacks aimed at Warlock Battalion. Don't worry about those fighters. Mind your altitude and maintain. What is this giant red arrow over here? I've got lock on! I don't know what to, I don't know what to make, out, make of that. Mysterious. <laughs> like this one target sort of painted on the map oh i guess it's like the the larger icon when you're when it's like representing a ground unit it's just representing a larger air unit that i've yet to wipe out enemy plane down Whew, those clouds are scary Oh, they're doing the trench run. I keep thinking they'll be up high since they're bombers. Another one! New aircraft detected! Approaching Warlock Battalion at high speed! 
Maximum thrust. I think that's what that means. Oh gosh, they are flying. It's not the guy I want, though. Isn't it? No? Watch out! The enemy has a lock on you. Are we out here? I got a lock. Any of them. Twist through it. Ooh. Damn, Missile missed its target. Missed. Careful now. The enemy has you on radar. Missile evaded. Hey, what's up, Battleroid? Thank you for the resub. Launching missile. Second jammer down. Radar's back to normal. Pick up the rest just like that. Okay, I get it now. All right, I understand. Fired. I think I understand. I guess the GR4s have jammers too, maybe. Finally found out what Fox 1 and 2, 1, 2, and 3 mean. Ooh, tell. Do tell. I'm curious. I think I looked it up at 1, 1.2. 1. Like you, it has, it has to do with tracking the munitions in the air, right? You have to like call out and record whenever you're firing stuff. You're not just allowed to shoot whatever you want wherever. You have to like, you have to know where all the missiles go. Jammer down. Okay. Huh? Box two. Radar lock. The way missiles track. Jammer down! And I jammed her on down. How do y'all think it's time for a jammer down? Enemy aircraft on radar. Target hit. I didn't kill it. Let's see here. Fox 1, you have to track the, 
You have to track for the missile. Fox 2, the missile's IR tracking by itself. Fox 3, the missile's radar tracking by itself. Oh. Okay. Fifth jammer down. It would feel pretty cool to shoot a missile and have it blow something up. Like, it doesn't have to be people, but it would still feel cool to shoot a missile and blow it up. Blow something up. That'd be cool. That'd be cool to do. Maybe even from, like, an RPG or something. You know? I don't need everything. I don't need the world. I can just shoot a bazooka. Is a bazooka a thing? Or is that just like a dumb name for various other launching launching weaponry? Bucket list item, yeah. Shoot missile. Bazooka was a type of launcher. Okay. Was it invented by John Bazooka? Edmund Bazooka? Ugh. I didn't know that that's what I was supposed to do for that that mission for a while. His name was Hazuka J Bazooka. <laughs> That's a really good, <laughs> a really good Wikipedia article. Hezekiah Hezazuka J. Bazazuka. Just shortened to Bazooka at Ellis Island. Uh. Oh, it was named after an instrument called the Bazooka. All right. That's an instrument called a Bazooka definitely sounds like some kind of old timey bullshit. Like that's somebody's playing the Bazooka at the train station. Oh, look at all the sparkles up there. Oh, that's so cool looking. Connecting ESM for Garuda 1. Special weapons running low. Let me do the uh, allied attack for some reason. Keep pounding away at him. You know I will. Huh? Huh? Man, that that cover is such a sweet ability. You just charge into a whole cluster of planes, the get them to all attack you, call in the cover, and then a whole bunch of your planes just warp in and annihilate. It's great. Target. I've got something on radar. That's odd. 
<laughs> Multiple small objects flying at slow speed through the airspace. Uh oh. Whatever. Small, big, bring them on. Other aircraft are. Wait a minute. Warning! Cruise missiles incoming! All planes break! What? Ooh, 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 ooh. Those are the same missiles used to wipe out Grace Maria. All planes, cancel offensive and retreat. Garuda team, escort our planes out of there. You gotta be kidding me. How are we supposed to defend that? Their missiles are being guided by observation planes. Shoot them down and the attacks will subside. Four. Missiles estimated range of impact shows up on radar. Oh. Observation plane should be located right in the center of that range. Garuda team, shoot down those observation planes. You've got to hold out until all our forces have been safely evacuated. Jeez, range okay. Impact confirmed on radar. The observation plane must be right in there. There's a lot of these. There's a lot of these sprinkled around, huh? Oh, that's a lot. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, that's not good. Our evacuating forces have taken damage. Yeah. Those incoming missiles can be stopped if you shoot down their observation planes. That is not easy to do, actually. Connecting ESM for Garuda 1. I can't tell which one's close. Really hard to tell what to target. You have to like kind of cross-reference it with your, your top-down map. Try to make a guess about how far away the relative targets are. Something else. Lock on. No, it's the drones. It's really hard to hit. Oh, it's a master. Hey. If you're doing good, just checking in. You and the crew feel like family. I'm glad to hear that. Glad that uh, all the dumb videos we made uh, brought you some happiness. I'm not I'm not hundred percent on what they're expecting from me here. Uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pitch a little something. If you're into that, Bruce and I are still making uh, gaming news stuff over at Inside Games. You might want to check that out. Do I have to? Sh do I have to gun these guys? They they bounce around so much. Radar lock. Ten observation craft remaining. These guys are unmanned. Ugh. Try allied attack? I was. There we go. It just wasn't letting me do it before. I'm not quite sure why. Yeah, that'll help out quite a bit. About half the observation planes have been destroyed. Keep your guard up. Target down. Uh.
knew that was going to get me. Those are kind of annoying. They're kind of super annoying. Huh. Also, I wonder if have checkpoints caught up at all, or do I just get to replay the whole mission? Okay, hey, we got checkpoints. How are we supposed to defend that? It's truly the future. The missiles are being guided by observation planes. Shoot them down and the attacks will subside. These kind of suck. Range of impact shows up on Maybe radar. there's some... The observation know. plane should be located it's right in the center range of, of that range. range. Shows up on radar. Team, shoot down those observation planes. You've got to hold out until all our forces have been safely... I'm not sure what he means by that. Range of impact confirmed on radar. The observation plane must be right in there. I guess it's, he's just saying, like, the orange... The orange circles show you where the hurt is going to be. Forces have taken damage. Those incoming missiles can be stopped if you shoot down their observation planes. Okay, I see. Maybe staying in the uh staying in the missile lock on juice will help too. Ten observation craft remaining. I have to go give the car to a garage to have, have the checkup. Active protection installed. These guys are unmanned. Wait, what? You gotta protect yourself from all those foxes. You have foxes sneaking into your car? Damn, it looked like you had some really good really good trivia to share too. I'll have to catch up on that. Evacuating forces have taken additional Lateral damage. Lateral mine? There should be an observation plane somewhere near each missile's point of impact. Yeah, I got it. I think it might shock you how much I have grasped the concept. Okay, Initiating attack. one destroyed the target. I guess it's also that it seems like uh, they stand still when they're exploding. So there's not really a whole lot of reason to, like, chase them around if they're not just sitting in a cloud of explosions. But they zip away pretty quickly after that. About half the observation planes have been destroyed. Keep your guard up. God, it didn't even get him. Oh. Have those planes evacuated yet? Not yet. Evacuation's still not complete. Tell us, you're in pretty bad shape. You did a lot of damage. That's a lot of nuts. Launching missile. Five observation craft remaining. Fox 3. Yeah, go out there and hurt somebody, Shamrock. Four observation craft remaining. Observation craft remaining. If only we could have shot him down at Grace Mary. Hang in there. Said it, pal. Oh no! Oh wow, that didn't hurt me for some reason. I thought that was gonna be it. I thought I was dead. Ah! You bitch. Shit's better than Top Gun? Hell yeah it is. This game rules. I'm really enjoying it. I wish it had a bit more of a ridiculous flair. Lord knows the series has the capacity for it. This one's pretty straight. Two observation craft remaining. Observation craft remaining. All operation planes are down. Whew. Done, team. Landscape is gorgeous, though. It off. We've got to do something about those missiles, or there won't be a Grace Maria to get back to. Pretty kick ass, not gonna lie, I love cheesy action shit. Oh, me too. Huge fan. 
Oh wait, you haven't seen Top Gun Maverick? Thanks. It's a fun movie, Bunster. It's not it's not profound, but you know, it doesn't have to be. Only minimal damage suffered. But our unit is within range of enemy cruise missile attacks for this mission. We're doing all we can to gather intelligence on the invasion and are mulling strategy options. Wait for the order to come in. Wait, it says Wingman survived? Your wingman die? I feel so lucky to have met up with Ludmilla. We've Are your wingmen so can get damaged and forced to withdraw? Ah. I don't know what we would have done without her passport. I yeah, poor chopper. I ever would have made it. He just withdrew, that's all. Withdrew into the middle of that football field. These wide open spaces. Enemy troops are few and far between. Actually, we've been on this road for quite some time now without spotting a single Estevakian military vehicle. It looks like our luck has just run out. These men are partisans. A Marian like me. Ludmilla stares at me. I can see the fear in her eyes. I tried to I explain to them that Ludmilla is no best. threat. She is a student from Nordnavik. But I've never been much of a liar. She definitely speaks the language, but with a thick Estovakian accent. Don't waste your ammo. Just then, something roars in the sky above. Hey, look! What's going on? I know it's our Estevaki only chance of escape. Get in! Hurry! On the battlefield, you have to put luck aside and take what you get. Woo! Good or bad. My fellow countrymen were killed instead of me. Oh, shit. It gives me an eerie sense of relief. But now I've got to accept the fact that I am the next target. It's time for me to dance with the angels. You're on the ground. That doesn't... doesn't it's not what it means. You can't not use your own stupid phrase right. Wait, how many how many uh, missions were there in this? Oops. Fifteen. Then I'll give you the lowdown on our missions. Just halfway. Small unmanned aerial vehicles, cruise missiles, and heavy command cruisers are all closely related in terms of functionality and have been uncovered as the enemy's secret weapons by our analysis results. We have collected missile and small unmanned aerial vehicle samples, as well as radar records, analyzed them, and came up with the following. First of all, the small unmanned aerial vehicles are operated from long distance and approach their intended targets to destroy them. In step two, a special electronic signal inside of each small unmanned aerial vehicle is sent to a cruise missile for guidance. And for the final step, the cruise missile that was guided by a small unmanned aerial vehicle hits and destroys its attack target. That is how the enemy's cruise missile system operates. Small unmanned aerial vehicles and cruise missiles are both launched from the enemy's heavy command cruiser. Once launched, they are operated from the heavy command cruiser via remote control. Our Joint Chiefs of Staff have drawn up a plan to destroy the enemy's missile system based on these analysis results. In order to conquer the heavy command cruiser, a constant barrage of attacks from the air is absolutely indispensable. First, we need to get a springboard to launch our plan of attack. We're about to head south to retake Cavalia Air Force Base in San Loma. Our objective is to retake Cavalia's air facilities then establish a front line to destroy the enemy's missile system. Once the runway is secured, we should have a decent chance at taking out the enemy's heavy command cruiser. 
Enemy forces will be heavily deployed from land, air, and sea. We'll be doing all we can to deal with them, but I'm sure they'll be ready for us. Success or failure of this mission will very likely have a significant effect on the war. Put everything you've got into this one. Okay. I'm going to be rank C of the Gambler's Coliseum in near Automata on hard. But I died on the way to the save point, so now I'm here. Ooh. Those old school saves, huh? Stings. Yokotaro trolled ya. He trolled ya. I think I just take the A10, and then I, I rocket pod the hell out of the out of A and C, and just just slice on through it. Uh, but I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. I'll be right back. Back. It wasn't a snack break. It was a adding lights to this planet break. They've got these little like lanterns at uh, here. Tiki Oasis. The Tiki Convention. Behold, these two little guys here. Look at how cozy that looks. I was just trying not to talk so that the light would stabilize out a little bit, but... My backdrop's getting even more ridiculous. So I was thinking A10 with a rocket pod. I just want any other plane with a rocket pod, I think. That's actually what I want. Air superiority intercept anti ship. Maybe I'm going to try it. Air to ground homing spread bomb. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Unguided. Okay. Yeah, let's, yeah. I'm curious. Could be good. Could be good. Doesn't have rocket pod though. This seems like a Tell interesting us, weapon. Which plane should I pick? How about my? Are we ready to fly? Garuda team, time to take off. What's up, Bluey Odinson? See San Loma along with its military base, and use that as a base of operations for attacking the enemy's heavy command cruiser. That's that's cool as hell. Careful now, they're tracking you on radar. Careful now. Oi. Man, the controls are a little laggy. A little bit laggy. You in the new Die Hard, or are you just hot? Can it be both? But no, I'm just hot. It's hot in LA. It's hot in LA, and there's no air conditioning. Careful now, they're tracking you on radar. In this place. It's a delightful place to live, but there's no air conditioning. They fire at me? Garuda 1, ESM. So, uh, no AC, no sleeves. 
my rule. Yeah, I don't have AC. It's not a problem most of the year. There's like maybe one month where it gets it gets pretty toasty. Uh, this this last week though has been pretty warm. Like it's been in the mid 80s, which is pretty pretty bad Fahrenheit. Uh, for for comfort, like it's not like health. It's not in danger of dying or anything. <laughs> yeah, it's all it can be sweaty. It can be it can be damp. I'm not in the valley, no. I'm closer to the ocean than that. So it's not as bad as it could be. In the valley would be uh that would not be okay at all. It can get up to like Watch 90, 100 in the valley. Uh-uh. Come on, nope. Watch out! The enemy has a lock on you! The enemy's got a butt that farts. How about that? Missile was evaded. Been almost 100 for a week. Yeah, it's been it's just been crazy hot. I mean, he, yeah, here it's been like high 80s into high 80s. Make it easier. Target hit. This track's pretty good too. Kind of warming to the soundtrack. Oh! I've been strained. Who the hell did that? Yeah, you, yeah, you did. Strafed. Your ass got strafed. Don't hold back. Kill all the All right, this this weapon rips because it's just so long range. You can just sit up here and pick everything off since it's clustered too. You don't have to like specifically target the target you're trying to shoot. Oh, this is the only ace combat game you've not played? Interesting. It's one of the few that I have. What are you talking about? Donnie Torch? Oh, these guys, yeah. God. Ooh! Whoa! Unmanned observation planes confirmed on radar. Be on alert for enemy cruise missiles. Oh, fuck off. What do you want us to do? Shoot down the observation planes or cover our allies? Both. If you could shoot down the unmanned observation planes, that'll minimize the damage to our forces. Well, yes, I suppose that makes sense. Take out any in our path. First wave of enemy cruise missiles incoming. Point of impact is showing up on radar. Stay clear of that area. Oh, boo-hoo, dude. <laughs> That's a great name. Thank you for the prime. <laughs> yeah, I'm not crying about nothing. Especially not with the sweet validation that your prime sub is giving me. Remember the few years where everything was shut in Georgia because of the tax breaks? Huh? That's a lot of stuff is still in Georgia, isn't it? I guess I have no idea what the production scene is like post-COVID. But I mean, that's the game. You uh, you give tax cuts, so new new companies decide to open in your state. And then they're operating there, and it's too expensive to move out. But you know that when you set up a business. 
I think the more like the more flash in the pan was when uh, Texas had like discounts for game or Texas had like state discounts for game dev stuff. So like a lot of studios opened around Austin, has been eliminated. and then as soon as those tax credits dried up, and they dried up pretty fast, a lot of those studios closed. I think Bioware still has a studio down there for Swotor. I think there might still be Arcane. Garuda One, Fox Two. Chopper down. Chopper down. Almost in effective range. I would admit I never played the non-strange real games. Watch out. So, from skimming the Wikipedia article, the non-strange real ones are the mobile, or the handheld, I should say. The handheld and Assault Horizon. Those are actually on Earth. And not strange real. Well, I should I should warn you early. Assault Horizon is one of the few I have played, and apparently this one, even though I didn't remember very well. But I liked Assault Horizon a lot. My memory re remembers it well. So I will take no slander of the game. I'm not afraid to throw a fit on the internet. I'm not afraid to really debase myself in front of a crowd for the sake of a video game opinion. I'm not afraid to do it. Or Ace one and two. Yeah, yeah, not really. I mean, they didn't. It didn't really matter. There was no plot in one. And two, like, just had briefings and missions. And then <laughs> three is so far removed. Not new. I guess there are there are games that allude to kind of pay forward to the events of three. Which is fun. Lock on! Target number of enemy planes are destroyed. Shift forces to the San Loma takeover operation. There's Marigolds. I guess these, the like, shysty guys are there for comic relief? I don't see why not. Why not? Let's get some yucks. I'm gonna have a laugh in between all this war. Hey, Gonzo Genius. Firing anti-ship missile. Radar lock. Woo! Missile evaded. Shouldn't have survived that one, but I'll take it. Special weapons. Anti-aircraft gun taken out. I had it! Can we do something about this? Just 
just a mess of targets in there. Sheesh. Not a resupply in this. Doesn't seem like. All right. Just gotta keep swooping through. Taking everything out. Careful now. The enemy has you on radar. Country roads, you hate animes. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Missile was evaded. Sounds like someone's itching for a fight. Enemy Aegis destroyer sent under. Boy, do you like do you like Marvel movies? I bet. Oh, like those are so good. Like my beautiful poetic animes. Enemy destroyer sunk. That's the Careful thing, you know. You Anime is art. It's art. Your Marvel's just dudes. Missile. It's just dudes punching each other. Who cares? No thanks. I'm sorry that I like art more than just stupid dudes, stupid Chad Alpha dudes punching each other. Into, I'm just into more adult stuff, I guess. Enemy destroyer suck. Talisman, you're the key player on this mission. Don't get shot down. Working on it. We have radar lock on. Gosh darn these stupid drones. I hate you. Just do your stupid little explosion. Maybe if you chase them, they just won't do it. Oh well, I don't have to kill the drones. This one's mine. I just don't want one to like sometimes it feels like they can just explode right on top of you. kind of does have that sickly sort of yellowish calm like realistic warfare tint I guess we have radar lock on that was so many things in the odds that matrix Target tint down. what about art where it's stupid dudes punching each other no see because like that art is cool and, and good and, and interesting All targets are almost destroyed Garuda one Take care of what's left. Tell you just don't. You just don't understand. You just don't understand. That's okay. How could you? It's not your fault. You don't. You don't get it. Watch out! The enemy has a lock on you. Hell! Oi! Oh, the Narcos filter? Narcos flashback filter? Yeah. That's what the sky looks like in any country that's not America after 9-11. They don't have uh, cheesecake factories, so the air is not clean there. It's foreign. And every time the sun comes up, you hear Naya in the background somewhere. Enemy plane down. Hey, Zidonia. Good morning. <laughs> they got a good trade-off. Yeah, they got that bad air, that foreign air. Might have weapons of mass destruction. It's weird, because I'm playing Fallout New Vegas, and it has that too, but at least it's not the entire game. Certain parts of the Mojave look like that. God. 
there. 15,000 planes. Yes! Yes! Maximum destruction. Roger that. Why am I bothering myself with shooting down all these planes? Okay. All targets are confirmed destroyed. Yeah, it's a nuclear wasteland. It it absolutely makes sense in uh, New Vegas. Talisman, we just took control of our airport from the Estevakians. The battle for Ameria has just begun. Now that we've accomplished this mission, we have a good chance of taking out the heavy command cruiser. Excellent job. Battle for Ameria. Oh, this is your favorite Ace Combat? It's interesting. Mission accomplished. It's straightforward. We have managed to retake Cavalia Air Force Base and free San Loma in the process. Cavalia will be our chief base of operation for conquering the enemy's heavy command cruiser. Ultimately, the enemy's cruise missile system cannot be stopped unless their heavy command cruiser is destroyed first. Every minute counts for us here. Wait for your next order concerning this operation. Hey, I'm waiting. We get to see more of, yeah. I do like that there's a cutscene between every mission. Our car has died. Just in terms of pacing, it's good that you know you get a little, like, anime melodrama. managed to get us this far, but it's been destroyed by machine gun fire. This pilot is from Ludmilla's homeland. She asks the crashed pilot about a name, asking if he has any information. But the pilot takes a turn for the worse. Thanks for the cheer, Gonzo genius. Just before all this, he seemed to be mumbling a name. Garuda. Garuda. He's the one that shot me down. I await the quintessential gamer ace combat tier list. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to rank the whole franchise. I know exactly what she's going through, why she's overcome with such emotion. My husband could have very well ended up like this. And now I know. The one she loves is a pilot as well. You're in love with angels. Angel dancers. Private angel. Angel for money. As we save a man's life on this wide open plane, we both begin to realize what we share, how much we have in common. That looks like the man from the Final Fantasy Chaos game. Chaos. I love that that's the only thing people remember. I think his name is Jack. From uh, Strangers of Paradise, colon, Final Fantasy Origin. Yeah. Chaos. Yeah. Talking about chaos. I have to find chaos. This is an order of deployment. We've obtained a portion of classified intelligence concerning the enemy's heavy command cruiser from the Department of National Safety. Big boat. The heavy command cruiser's official name has been identified as P-1112 Igion. <laughs> Badass boat the face. consists of a mid-sized Kotos aircraft in charge of electronic warfare and a mid-sized Gyges aircraft in charge of close-range air defense. Igion, a command craft, takes care of all cruise missile-related duties. After acquiring this intelligence, we were able to draw up an operation to destroy the Igion. Listen closely. Fuel is added to the Igion through an opening located in the front. Multiple tankers must make their way to the front of the Igion for refueling purposes. Igion? Once the tankers are positioned in front of the craft to refuel it, the Igion's radar Igion. signals are temporarily weakened. Igion. This is where it gets important. Hmm. While the Igion is being Igion. refueled, its radar is almost completely unable to detect any type of movement in front of the craft. In front of the Igion. If you can stay on course and maintain a certain altitude, you could approach the Igion, Igion without being noticed by enemy forces. So our best chance of taking that monster out is during its mid-air fuel up. The Igion's flight Igion. schedule is also included in this piece of intelligence. We'll go over the flight route after our meeting in the hangar. Get prepared at once. 
Rockets and bombs work pretty well against large, slow-moving targets. Yeah, the A-10 rocket pod seems like it would just shred this thing up. That means I can't move and I can't shoot anything else down. Yeah, does anything else have the RCL? Oh, 33 can. Ooh, wind press. Thanks for the raid. Maybe I just take the the 16 since it has the rocket pod. How's everybody going? Wind press birthday raid. Wait, it's wind press birthday and I get the gift. How does it seem right? Thank you very much. I sell. Hey, what are we doing here? Oh, cause I already have it. Okay. You recommend the FA-18 with multi-target missiles. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'll buy that. I'll buy that. Why not? Good reason to buy it. These? Oh, I guess, yeah, you can target the heart. Wait. This? I would think you would need uh, air-to-air stuff. These were really good at the other air fortress. It just like wiped all of the uh, all the turrets off the thing. Yeah, I'll try it. I'll try it. Talisman, which plane should I pick? How about my weaponry? Are we ready to fly with Garuda team? Time to take off. Wait a minute. Why did I pick that? Well, whatever. It's too late. Whatever. <laughs> Stringing two to Igion. Patrol operation complete. Requesting permission to land. Oh yeah, this is like the flying carrier. Oh yeah, this thing. Okay. I got the Stringin team. It's so cool. You need fast missiles to avoid them being shot down. Two here. We'll comply. Uh -oh. The way. uh oh. Copy that. Stay clear of our jet wash. I don't know that these are very fast. We'll see how it works. I can always switch. Sky Whale. It's being refueled by six tankers all at the same time. Awesome. Holy cow. The heavy command cruiser's radar capabilities temporarily falter whenever it's refueling in midair. A lot of good agents lost their lives getting us this intel. Is that a Star Wars reference? Approach the enemy at current course. Initiate an attack immediately after you've made it into the combat zone. Not even a not even a trench run. Garuda Are they boffins? Hit. Let's go. Would you prefer control control scheme for this game? Uh, these games. I'm normally a mouse keyboard guy, but it seems suboptimal for post-stall maneuvers in AC7. I don't know much about AC7, but you can't really beat the analog stick. Mouse and keyboard is pretty difficult to play flight sim stuff on. I used to only use keyboard to play like Wing Commander back in the day. I actually was playing through Free Space 2 a while ago, and I found a pretty decent way to map nearly everything you need to a controller. Kind of impressed with how well it worked out. So yeah, I think I think controller is the way to do it. I never really did get the mouse aim where like you kind of move it away from the center of the screen and your ship kind of slowly turns towards it. Method of control. That just never really clicked for me. All right. How utterly cool it is. Oh, wow. I have a ground. Just stay on that axis. Uh, I'm gonna... L I'm gonna leave. I picked exactly the wrong... The big time super wrong... Uh, super wrong weapons for that. Hey, Codename Devil. How am I doing? I'm doing great. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna stick with this, actually. Talisman. Which plane should I pick? 
How about my weaponry? Are we ready to fly with Garuda team? Time to take off. Doing fantastic. I finished up Ace, Ace Combat Zero a little earlier and walked to the game store, picked up Ace Combat 6. Now I'm plugging away at this. The heavy command cruiser's radar capabilities temporarily falter whenever it's refueling in midair. A lot of good agents lost their lives getting us this intel. A lot of good agents lost their lives. Approach the enemy. No, it was Dash Rendar. Oh, excuse me, it was Kyle Katarn. Garuda 2, Roger. Let's go. He's the coolest. Katarn. Dersh Rando. But Chugs's. What's the new one? Gulp Shitto? That's the one. That's a approaching target. Talk about Dash. He was a legend. I guess. I guess I only ever, uh, I only ever played Shadows of the Empire. I didn't read any books or anything. It's just like every character is just a mishmash of other popular characters. What if he's like Han Solo, but he also has a lightsaber? That's not Dash. I guess that's more Kylo Katarn. Like a smuggler, right? But then also he's Jedi. Approaching target. Just stay on that axis. And should I... I shoot down the AC... The KC-10s? The fuel planes? I'm not hurting anybody, right? Sky Kid? Oh, God, it's so wobbly. That's awesome. Garuda 1, commencing full rocket fire. Woo! I'm taking off. Move out of the way. I'll take care of the two planes on the Dragon 4, launching. Dragon 6, launching. What the hell is that? They're launching fighters off that huge ship. Talisman, it's the Reaper's emblem. Let's pay him back once and for all. Target down. Keep on that pressure and they'll break soon. He's so amped. I like it. Careful now. The enemy has you on radar. Commencing full rocket fire. Critical hit to the aerial battleship. Enemy destroyed. Enemy destroyed. Box two. Oh, 
Number two electronic support system down. All right, that's what I like to see. <laughs> When I first played this part and I was confused by the giant planes, then I realized I was playing an anime. Yep. It hits you sooner or later. A lot of smoke, huh? But eventually, you can't help but realize. Oh my god, they tricked me. Watch out! The enemy has a lock on you! Damn! Okay, it's, it's on the underside. This one's mine. This music's pretty good, all right? Picking up a little more texture. through the middle of it. Ooh, yes, probably. All right, let's try it. Commencing full rocket fire. Let me go line up here. Shoot at me! Oh my god! Oh! Ah! Oh. <laughs> I didn't know that a million missiles would fly out the back of it. Uh, almost got it. A bad idea. Thank you for the sub. Alright, well, I'll just do it now. Fuck it. How cool that is. Garuda 1, commencing full rocket fire. reminds me of Crimson Skies. Now there's a franchise that I'm kind of surprised hasn't had some kind of rumble of a, a reboot. Talisman, it's the Reaper's emblem. Let's pay him back once and for all. Critical hit to the aerial battleship. Enemy destroyed. Enemy destroyed. Number two electronic support system down. All right, that's what I like to see. Commencing full rocket fire. I'm 
Crimson Skies High Road to Revenge story time. Oh? Sounds like you got some, uh, some associations. I remember watching my dad play Crimson Skies on OG Xbox? Yeah. It's a neat idea for a game. I feel like, what was it? Capcom made, or Capcom published a game called Dark Void. That was kind of like that? Just sort of like Indiana Jones style adventure game. Watch out! The enemy has a lock on you! Tales of Daring Do. Fascinating tales of interest. Talisman, you have a bandit on your tail. Damn it. Fuck! Garuda one down. I thought about trying to fly through the wings, but it didn't work out. Best Boba Fett game? Yeah, it kind of was, wasn't it? We've got a runt on the move. Looks like it's for air support. My Dark Void getting another shot? ESM. You'll be in a world of hurt if you let him go. Oh. Let's pay him back once and for all. Aerial battleship number one down. It's going down. I really like how excited he is for that one. Hold on a minute. <laughs> There's a scene where Nathan is going to bone his high flying partner in crime in Crimson Skies. He goes, You mind if I leave my socks on? In a snarky and very cool TM way, which I, as a high schooler, thought I could totally emulate. Tried it out once, read as first time, wound up flailing for grip and slipping on the carpet the whole time. <laughs> Needless to say, don't get hot bone tips from Xbox Originals. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, leaving your socks on is like, is code for it being like ultra casual. Yeah, you need those, you need those toes to dig in. You need that grip though. You need that anchor. Whoa. Watch out, the enemy has a lock on you. Ooh. Ooh -ah. Then those, then those fellers out, huh? Taking, taking losers out. Oh! 
Yeah, these drums are kicking in. Yeah, now it's Ace Combat. Take all my sex advice from Sonic. Hot dogs. Rings? Okay. Gotta go fast, alright. Tuck into a ball. Yep. Yeah, it checks out. That's all, that's all solid advice. Put little flaps up. Doesn't matter though. Ooh, no! Wow! Oh, no, 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 no. It's on my life. Flash before my eyes. Okay, let's take a nice easy loop around. Blow up this last engine. Everything's gonna be fine. Missile evaded. Radar lock. Launching missile. All engine units destroyed. The heavy command cruiser is taking a major blow. Garuda team, you almost got her. No! Oh, shit! Fuck! Ugh. I thought I could get all the turrets in one swipe. You're the man. Oh. <laughs> like one target left. God, there's so many missiles! Jesus. Oh. Oh, it's the cockpit. Fuck. Alright. It's gonna be like that. Oh, okay, because they make you fly in front of it, because there's all these, like, cloud bursts going on. Yeah, I know. Okay. Some, some nice distance, huh? for? Oh! Yeah, Dog Demon, this game's pretty great. It seemed to, to not quite have the, the like, the ridiculous stage. texture of other Ace Combats, but it's getting there. May you rest in quiet slumber. Okay. Well, that was cool. Do love blowing up big old planes. The Igaion and its air unit have been destroyed. The cruise missiles aimed at Emeria have also been eliminated. This was a huge victory for us, and I'm sure it'll have a significant impact on the war. Garuda team, you have received a letter of commendation from the Joint Chiefs of Staff for your invaluable service in this mission. Tonight, you're free to do what you want. <gasps> Can I eat a hot chip? Drink a beer?
We're going to Applebee's. Everybody in the Humvee. Time for boneless wings. This cool guy. Lieutenant Colonel. This man was once a pupil of mine. Pupil cool. Many years have passed. Pupil cool guy. But Lieutenant God. Commander Pasternak still has that same spark of confidence in his eyes he had as a young man. Glad to see you are looking well. He was brought here to help you us turn the war in our favor. Now that he has been promoted to captain of the Strigan team, he is sure to be a thorn in the side of the American military. Don't leave your baggage. It may be uncomfortable, but keep it hidden behind your back. Huh? Trust me, it is how things are done here. I asked him if he knew Garuda won. Know him? <laughs> My sole reason of being sent here was to fight him. He smiled to hide the rage within him. <sighs> that should have been my passion, my fire. But things have changed. On harder difficulties, you'd have to destroy the cockpit on the smaller craft and destroy Besides a power a core for the Agaion. The world, I ah. Okay. Yeah, My taking out all the cockpits for the small craft would be pretty time-consuming. of loneliness is all I have left. I like the idea of blowing up a power core, though. Into the piss. East of central Anya lies Ragno Fortress in Gragio Canyon. Our fortress there Canyon, is you say? Slovakian control. Substations for a giant dam and military tunnels line the area near the fortress. Those places act as an extra means of defense for an already high security area. Now that we've destroyed the enemy's heavy command cruiser, we're on our way east towards Grace Maria. But the only route for our heavy deployment of ground forces to travel on passes through Gragio Canyon, and Ragno Fortress is Estovakia's trump card for keeping us out of Grace Maria. If we can recapture that fortress, it's smooth sailing to Grace Maria from there. Eliminate the Estovakian unit there and recapture Ragno Fortress. The battle is tipping in our favor. All planes, let's get ready. Crazy that a game that looks like this also runs on the same console as Halo 4. Halo 4 was pretty incredible, yeah, technologically. Pretty magical. Yeah, the uh, seventh generation had a pretty nice track over the course of, of its hardware life cycle of showing pretty good improvements. Mm. Okay, you gotta do two of them. It's like... A lot of anti-ground again. So many ground targets. I'm trying to watch, but also work on Word documents at the same time. I do a lot of writing while I'm watching streams. Well, that's pretty, pretty good for that. Well, that that piano there sounded really similar to the like piano sting and yeah, and Ace Combat Four, I think. think. All right. That's a nice six. I can't afford it, but what does that mean? Oh, this is a mission where the FA-18 is perfect for the 4AGM? I believe you. Yes, that makes more sense. Wait, did it... Oh, that's right. I don't know what I'm thinking. Talisman, which plane should I pick? How about my weaponry? Are we ready to fly? Garuda team, time to take off.
XME-6 is like the XLAAs, but with six missiles. Okay. That makes sense. Gosh, this looks great. A message to all the Estevakians out there. Don't be too disappointed once we shoot down all your toys. <laughs> I'm going to present a couple of Golden King medals to Garuda team. Made them myself. Don't listen to civilian airwaves during missions. Today's objective is to recapture Ragno Fortress. Warlock Battalion is on its way to Ragno Fortress. Our plan is to break through the center. This is Rehubba. We're prepared to knock out their substations and supply rooms on the water to cripple their forces. This is Yellow Jacket. We're sent to invade the fortress and initiate attacks from the inside. If we can pull this off, Estovakia won't have any trump cards left to play. Use everything you've got. Once we get over this canyon, Grace Mary is straight ahead. We gotta win this talisman. Huh? Are they in caves or something? Show the enemies inside what you can do. This is Yellow Jack. We're set to invade the fortress and initiate attacks from the ah, inside. Interesting, alright. Four tunnels lead to the inside. We plan to break into their underground facilities through those tunnels. Oh, jeez. Defensive wall confirmed down. Go through that tunnel and destroy all facilities inside. What the, the fuck? Talisman's gone down. Damn it. Uh, there are several tunnels in this mission. Seems like it. I guess I took a missile right at the end there. Got bonked. Oh, did I did I clip a crane? I guess it's gonna show me here. Let's see what happens. Defensive wall confirmed down. Go through that tunnel and destroy all facilities inside the fortress. Talisman's gone down! I, I don't I guess there's just a bang. There's just an explosion and then I creamed into the ground. Oh uh, jeez. I got bonked, yeah. Actually I, th I think I gotta I'm gonna hang up the stream there. Almost got through the whole game in one sitting. Uh that's okay. I'll clean it up next time. And then it's on to Assault Horizon. So that's exciting. All right, I'm gonna be back streaming tomorrow. Uh, later, later on, because it's an Inside Games Day. But I'm gonna be doing uh, Final Fantasy XIV raids, Savage raids. So, uh, it's and it's tier three, which is supposed to be the really difficult one. It's supposed to be the the ball buster, the the thigh slapper. So I'm excited. We're probably gonna die over and over, uh, and. I wonder if, I think part of it is probably fun just seeing how inscrutably ridiculous some of these fights can be. So I'm excited to get into that one and I hope people have a good time watching it. But hope you had a good time watching today. Definitely appreciate y'all watching. These games are super cool, very fun. It's fun to experience them and definitely fun to share that experience with people that have already played the games and love them. And it only enhances my experience too. So thank you for hanging out, for watching, sharing your, uh, your tips and such. Yeah, I can't wait to get back on this. Anyway, thanks again for watching. And I'll catch you next time. Have a good night, everybody.